my name is Jenna Ishii and I grew up here in Hawaii. Ready? One, two, three. I didn't know anything else besides Hawaii all my life until I went away and I kind of lived a very sheltered life. Um, went to, you know, good school and got a good education, but I think um, I didn't really know about Hawaii until I ended up in the UK. So I was kind of aimless and I decided, well, I'm just going to travel the world. So I found Okinawa, which happened to be the place that Hokule arrived, um, her first stop in 2007. Yes. It was just so cool because you see Nainoa and you see like all these heroes that you learn about all your life and they're sailing in and they were just like the most beautiful sight I've ever seen. Really kind of made me think about where I'm from, um, but that was kind of what inside of me something was missing and I that's when I decided I have to go home and just just to learn what's going on in Hawaii because I definitely had no idea. Her return to Hawaii gave her the opportunity of a lifetime and she is now a staff member at the Polynesian Voyaging Society as well as an apprentice navigator. And I know if it would go that side it wouldn't be going to lighten up but I guarantee you that's in the lead. I never wanted okay. to ever ask to sail because it's such a sacred thing. Yeah. I was just going to volunteer as long as I could um, because it was so intriguing. And uh, we have to have the procedures down cold. We got to have training. We have to have bring talented individuals into the training. After getting to know Nainoa for a couple of years, we started working closer together because I was starting to work for PBS. And one of the, one of the nights we were talking, and he said. Let's turn Are you it interested on. in navigation? And I was surprised. I was just like, oh my God. <laughs> I was asking me this very heavy question. And you can't say no because I would disappoint you. can't say yes because that's a huge commitment. But I just remember immediately saying, yeah, yeah, I am. I don't know what that meant at the time. You are staying right where we sleep. This is where we sleep. Ready? Although these combined positions are heavy in labor, hey. Jenna continues to share and encourage others to take part in this epic voyage. And Jenna has more energy than anyone I know. She has such a passion for every aspect of this voyage. It really shows in the quality of her work and the dedication she has, not just to the educational um, aspect of it, which is enormous, which is a major theme in the voyage, uh, but she really is a teacher. Um, how many canoe tours she's done and how many children she's personally visited at schools. When you're sailing, normally we have big sails coming up and down. You bring it to the left and the canoe will go to the right. You push it all the way to the right, the canoe will start going to the left. She can talk to these kids about, you know, the, the fundamentals of, of what's going on at a very engaging level and so looking forward I think she's an amazing teacher and is really kind of an amazing success story of the voyage already. This is Ku'ule Vizela with OEV TV, home of the worldwide voyage. So with us at hokulea.com. Aloha!